longest day is the Alzheimer's Association of America. It's their national fundraising campaign that they uh, try to coordinate for the summer solstice every year. To be able to contribute to a cause that takes care of people who have to deal with such pain and suffering is, is huge. Alzheimer's is, is definitely something that fitness can help, that exercise can help. Being able to support an organization like the Alzheimer's Association fulfills a lifelong mission, fulfills the overall passion that we've really carried into what Tri Fitness is all about. It was free to anyone to come. We just invited everyone to come and it was like an outdoor community bar with just hamburgers and chicken. And when people come together in a community, it means a lot. One person is strong, but the community is so much stronger. And when you bring people together in a form that is for a positive manner, that is impactful, that is powerful, that is affecting so many people personally, you can't lose. During the event, we had the push-ups, the raffle, the silent auction, the workout, um, all the food. We played soccer, we did what we call blaze pods, which are a kind of a coordination reaction time. Uh, we did um, boxing, that's really cool because it, it uses a lot of coordination and both people have to play, so it kind of added a little bit of that team aspect in there. We did the agility ladder, which causes people to have to cross their body. It actually allows them to create new brain pathways that is a big difference in a lot of other programs. We did some of the strength, the typical strength training program type stuff where we did dumbbell curl depresses, we did kettlebell squats, we did hip bridges. Things that really, in the long run, you don't see as much in other programs done in a way that most people can modify to and feel comfortable with. Our boot camp style exercise program that we did for the fundraiser just put together some of those elements that was able to be done by every single person there and everybody was able to get something out of it. created this one minute push-up challenge. We had people pledging how much they would donate per push-up done in that minute. And we got a grand total of $1.50 per push-up. And we decided this time we wanted to invite the community to do it with us. So this time we had 14 people come and do as many push-ups as everyone could in a minute. And those 14 individuals did a combined 562 push-ups in that one minute. So we just took those 562 push-ups and multiplied it by $1.50 and we could say, you know, we raised over $800 in a minute for that association. The most fun was definitely the push-ups. Half of the people that participated told me beforehand they couldn't do a push-up. And all of them blew past their own expectations of how many push-ups they could do. So, I mean, I, I think it was a double win because it raised money and it showed them the, the, what they're actually capable of. You can go to www.trifitnessgym.com forward slash the longest day. We actually have it still set up and it'll be open all year long. They say until December 31st, if you'd still like to donate and help Tri Fitness and just our community give back.